Hello, my name is Dmitry. I am from Zubax Robotics and I'd like to talk today about the uh, UVKN application layer standardization. Nowadays, advancement of the data transmission standards for unmanned, uh, unmanned air vehicles have reached a dead end. In the field of modern air vehicles, both manned and unmanned, there is a great need uh, for real-time distributed computing and unification. This need is partially made by ROS and DDS, which have become popular in the field of uh, robotics and UAV. But this cannot be considered a standard in a broad sense, as they lack uh, strict certification mechanisms. The requirements compliance is of a declarative nature. The lack of adequate standards hinders the development uh, of the component base and as a result the growth of UAV markets in general. Moreover, it discourages uh, competition and prevents UAVs from reaching adequate costs at which they could be applied more uh, universally. The UVCAN protocol was developed to unify real-time communications mm -hmm. and networks in vehicle systems. The UVCAN V0 protocol, which has existed for several years, has gained great popularity among users. It is used to provide a specialized application layer specification optimized for drones. It covers the layers from 2 uh, to 7 per OSI, mo uh, OSI model. At the next generation, UVCAN V1 becomes more universal and easier to apply since it is not tied to a specific application and covers only the levels from 2 through 6. The protocol is focused on the distributed computing and communication requirements that are common for many diverse vehicle applications. The application layer 7 is delegated to a separate standard named UDRAL, short for UVCAN Drone Application Layer. This standard defines application layer for use in avionic systems of manned and unmanned air vehicles. We anticipate the appearance of similar application layer standards for other fields, such as spacecraft, in the near future. The core components that the UVCAN ecosystem rests upon includes the formal specification, uh, the comprehensive usage guide for newcomers, libraries uh, for embedded systems in C and C++. Also, a uh, Rust implementation is a work in progress. And a set of development tools. The screenshot uh, on the right features the Yakut command line tool designed, to, uh, designed for diagnostics and uh, debugging uh, of UAVCAN networks. The main benefit of the UVCAN V1 over V0 is the introduction of subject IDs. The subject IDs are functionally similar to topics uh, found in most other published subscribe technologies like uh, ROS and DDS with the critical difference being that um, instead of a uh, textual name, subjects are identified by the numeric identifier. Unlike V0, with its hard linkage between data types and their semantics, the new approach uh, enables service-oriented architectures, which are commonly found in the field of uh, general information technology out there. As a result, we anticipate much more universal adoption of V1, and we already see it displays in general purpose uh, frameworks such as DDS uh, or message queues from the real time niche. To help with the transition, we have pub published uh, a comprehensive usage guide at uavcan.org/slash guide. UVCAN v1 inherited all the critical advantages of V0, such as uh, simplicity, high reliability, and uh, fault tolerance, which are confirmed by wide-scale deployments uh, of V0 in many applications. 
Let's take a look uh, at those advantages. Simple implementation. If you take, for example, DDS RTPS, a very rich and complex protocol, its implementation may take a hundred thousand lines of code, which would be expensive to verify and validate. For comparison, one of the main implementations of UAVCAN, which is libcanard, is only about 1000 lines of code large, while offering a comparable degree of abstraction. Distributed intelligence UVCAN makes it possible to implement complex distributed intelligence. Each node can publish messages on the bus and any node can subscribe to these messages. There is no master node. It means that each node can do the computing independently and the bus can continue to work even if, you, if any of the node is dead. In contrast, network with, uh, networks with uh, centralized intelligence protocol such as MicroRoS or KDE CAN are critically dependent on the availability of the master node. Heterogeneous Redundancy UAVCAN protocol can work over different transport and physical layers simultaneously. This enables dissimilar redundancy, where the network uh, can increase its robustness by leveraging different failure modes uh, of the underlying transports. This concept is particularly relevant for hybrid wide plus wireless configurations as demonstrated by the uh, WAIC project. Fault tolerance Unlike DDS, RTPS or some IP from uh, AutoSAR, UVCAN is a stateless protocol. Lack of a massive shared states uh, allows uh, the network to be extremely are resilient to brownouts and transient failures, for example those caused by lightning strikes. Unlike other technologies, UVCAN allows a restarting node to resume operation immediately without having to engage in complete service discovery and initialization activities. As I said, the lack of a, a, an adequate networking standard is one of the main problems of the market. UVCAN and UDRAL are intended to solve it. A new non-profit organization called UVCAN Consortium was founded earlier, line, uh, earlier this year to, be, uh, to strategically manage and develop these standards and collaborate with the stakeholders. Besides the strategy management, uh, the core objectives of the consortium are to support, promote and standardize and, uh, the UVK technology, UVCAN technology and expand the UVCAN ecosystem. To provide legal protection for the project in uh, relevant markets and regions across the world. This includes trademark management and enforcement of the license licensing terms. To provide consulting and R&D services uh, to members, key open source projects and non-profit organization leveraging UVCAN. To serve as a testing and certification organization. 13 companies, uh, companies joined the consortium over uh, its first six months not including many other doctors from uh, diverse industries ranging from micromobility to space. We are particularly pleased to have both drone code and uh, the autopilot projects on board, providing uh, a neutral and uh, fair collaboration platform for two of the largest players on the market. The main effort of the consortium, uh, of the consortium in 2021, are focused on the UDRAL standard. We hope 
to, rele uh, to release the beta version uh, by the end of the year. Other areas of focus include the rewrite of Libio Can, Libio VCAN, our flagship uh, C library, and the new uh, GUI tool called Yakut. Enterprises that leverage UVCAN have the option to join the consortium and uh, potentially become members of uh, special interest groups that are tasked with the development of the next generation industry standards based on the solid foundation offered by UVCAN. The consortium has also developed uh, a formal UVCAN certification mechanism. It includes compliance testing uh, that uh, ensure, ensures conformance of hardware and software products to the published UVCAN standards. Vendors whose products passed the testing are granted the license to use the official UVCAN conformity mark. It's shown on the image here. We also protect the standard by penalizing vendors who engage in unlawful use of the conformal mark. The UVCAN certification pro provides the quality and compatibility guarantees for the adopters. It uh, ultimately reduces the cost and improves the quality of the final products. We are making great progress and we are confident that UAVCAN and UDRAL are on track to become the bedrock on modern vehicle intelligence. Thanks for watching.